Hello everybody, welcome back to the Valley of the Mist Round Robin for 2021. I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelley McNeely. And we are here with the July segment of the Round Robin. And the notes on what you needed to do this month are in the notes at the, at the video, if you check that. Um, they're also on the Valley of the Mist website, Quilt Guild's website. Um, in the newsletters. There's not a separate section for the round robin on the website. Uh, other items that you might need off of um, to do this segment are on the Quilt Guild's website too, and, and that would be in the block of the month section. So, Shelly's gonna tell us, oh, I forgot. Remember, if you wanted to be surprised, you shouldn't be looking at this video. <laughs> okay, and, and anyone who's just jumping in now and wants to join us, um, just a, the basic thing was, was we were doing these incorporating block of the month this year in this round robin challenge, hoping that guild members will have their quilts ready for the quilt show, which we have heard is actually gonna happen this year. So we are gonna have a quilt show. So you need to get your quilts ready. Yes. Okay, so Shelly, um, we're gonna show Shelly's quilt first. Shelly, what did you do for your round robin this month? Okay, so the requirements for this seventh month, which is the final, essentially the final month of the building. building of the quilt, is a 12 and a half inch border, incorporating two, at least two, of the block of the month blocks from July. And you can incorporate that anywhere in this border, however you decide to do but it. But you are putting a border on all four sides. Right. So, and, that, and what I did is I made four of the blocks, so I could incorporate one on each board. I put it in the center of the border. This is the center of the 12 and a half inch border. So I want to ask you a question. So a lot of people will just pop those in the corner. Right. Uh, why didn't you do that? Well, because I was trying, we've incorporated blocks f from block of the month every other month of this. And I've tried to put them so they don't they're in Line different up places. Okay. Like next to each other every time. So, so here you put you popped them in the corner, right? Because we, we had to, right? That was and the then the next time I put them in a ways, and now I put it in the center. So right. So I, the the nice thing about this, and I'll comment on Shelly's quilt, it keeps your eye moving over the top of the quilt, right. which we talk about a lot. You want you want to keep that interest all the way out to the edges, right? And I incorporated again some of my plain fabric because I my a lot of my fabrics are pretty busy. Some plain, and then I did it again here in part of this border, and then I finished it off with some gray. So that's how I approach doing it. And then just a reminder, um, Shelly's quilt here, she has made it almost entirely from fat quarters. Very little yardage, and, and even doing that with these big borders that we had to put right, on. Right, right. Okay, so now we have my quilt to show. On Mine this month, I did kind of what I asked Shelly why she didn't do. I popped mine in the corners, but as you can see, I turned them on point, well, diagonally, so that I kind of had miters going into all four corners. Uh, it was a little bit complicated <laughs> figuring out how to do this. I'll tell you one thing I did was I added, um, a square, I mean a, a half triangle to each of those points and then I had straight going down. But I did have some Y seams. So if you don't like Y seams, this might not be your favorite way to do these corners. But I was <laughs> trying to do something very different and challenge myself every, every month. Um, so that's mine. I obviously used yardage. I didn't have to go scrappy like Shelly. <laughs> but, but you can really see those star blocks. I, I just, I yes, think it they, really showed off those star blocks. Okay, so um, this is the end of July. How big should their quilt be about It should now? be approximately 79 inches by 89 inches. And yours might be different because you've opted to do something a little different, make your borders maybe a little bigger. Um, we did want everyone to end up with a bed size quilt at the end of this. So, that's your instructions for July, and we will see you back here in August. 